Hey coach, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about a refund, right? I get asked a lot uh, every single day. A lot of the time uh, coaches ask me, Leo, how can I deal with a parent that wants a refund or how can I introduce a no refund policy? Uh, this is something that I did with my business. So I hope this video helps you. I know this is something a lot of uh, coaches have problems and, and they have challenges with so make sure you like subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content and I hope you enjoy the video systems in place in their business to protect themselves from refunds but also manage uh, refunds correctly now i'm going to give you a very easy and simple story to digest and this happened to me this was over four years ago and um, a year after i started my my football academy business so at the beginning, I was very much like most coaches out there. A lot of the coaches, what they do is they don't have contracts in place. They don't have terms and conditions. And everything's just done by a kind of like word of mouth or on a week to week basis. Now, the problem I had was. So when parents joined my program, I did have a three month commitment which was 12 weeks of training and that parent would pay every parent that joined my program would pay three months up front. Now, the problem that I then encountered was once they got into the contract, well, there wasn't any contract because I didn't have a contract in place, but once they, once we got into the agreement, this might have been four, five, six weeks into it. Uh, I got several messages from parents to say, Leo, um, we're about to move to another city. Uh, we're not going to be able to train with you from now until the now until whenever that contract was was meant to expire. Uh, could you please send us over a refund for the remaining weeks? That was one example of a parent I had. Another example was when a kid got injured, right? I had a, another example, a kid got injured and then the parents said, right, Leo, we're not able to train with you. Uh, could we have a refund for the remaining weeks? So what, what, what happened essentially was at the time I gave all the parents a refund, but that was because I had nothing to justify not giving them a refund and that's not because i want to be horrible that's not because um you know i want to be bad to people but at the end of the day you the problem i had was i didn't have any player parent agreements in place i didn't have any contracts in place so whatever the parent said i did right i didn't have i didn't have a, a process in place that stopped and protected my business I literally ran the business how the parent wanted me to do it. So if they said to me, right, Leo, we can't do Tuesday. Can we do Friday instead? I'll be like, yes, Mr. Jones, we'll do, we'll do that. Uh, I can't do next week. Can we add it on to the, to the, the last week of the three months? Yep, sure, we can do that. And that's literally how I operated the business at the beginning. And the reason why I then shifted was because of these examples. Parent moving to another city, I lost money, I had to give money back. A player getting injured, wasn't able to train in my sessions, I then refunded them the amount, and also I didn't have a plan in place to be able to still work with that player and for them not to lose the sessions with me. So if you are in a similar position and you're thinking to yourself, right, I need to create something that protects my business I need to put processes in place where, you know, I need to be a bit more firm with my with my customers. I need to actually run my business as a business and not allow parents to kind of dictate what they do. And um, something that that 
I would recommend you doing, and this is something I can help you with, but you'll need to contact me, and you can do that via the description below, is creating contracts, right? Creating contracts, creating terms and conditions, and within those contracts and terms and conditions, that's where we state what the parent can and ca cannot do. Now, after I learned those lessons, I introduced a no refund policy. Now, because I introduced that, that didn't necessarily mean every circumstance I didn't, I didn't refund parents. Okay, If it was a client that had been with me for a very long time, it was a really good parent, they'd, re, you know, they'd referred people to my business, then I'd be a bit lenient with that and say, right, okay, I, I will do that parent a favor because they have helped me in the past. Now, if it's a new parent and they haven't really done anything, they've not been a great client, shall we say, then absolutely there's no way that I was refunding because they've signed a contract and you're meant to stick with that contract. Now, the first one is having a contract in place to help protect your business. Now, in that contract, it should state what are the terms and conditions for if there's injury, for if parents are away, for if they're moving, okay? And that is why I always like to have meetings with parents before they sign the contract to make sure that everything that they have read and what they're about to sign is very clear. And I will get on a five minute call with Mrs. Jones where we get jump on Zoom and I'll say to her, Mrs. Jones, have you read the terms and conditions? Um, please make sure that you read where the section where it says, the conditions for when you're going to be away, for the conditions if your child gets in, injured, or for the conditions if you guys are moving now. If you know that you're going to be moving in the next two to three months, then what I would advise is for you guys not to sign the contract and we can adjust it to maybe a shorter term commitment uh, for you. So I make sure that parents are on board with the terms and conditions. I make sure parents read the, the contract that they're about to sign um, so that it protects me, but also they are clear about what they can and cannot then request from me if something comes up. Okay, so that was the first one. And then the second one is have an alternative plan. So I gave you that example about how I was working with, with a client, they got injured, and I refunded the parent because I didn't know how to add value to them when that player was injured. Now, it, there's a number of ways that you can still work with a player, even if they are injured. Um, so now, if that was to happen, I'd be in a very different position than I was when I first started. But these are the two things I would recommend. Number one, have always a contract in place that will protect you in the event of a request for a refund from, from plus customers. Now, in that contract, you can state when a refund is can be applied. Um, but that really depends on, I feel, the client, their commitment to your business and whether you want to or not want to uh, provide them a refund. And then the next one is just have a plan B and an alternative for different scenarios. So once I learned the lesson of, of the, those, those experiences I had at the beginning with my business, what I then did is I sat down and I created a chart which had different scenarios for what we're gonna ha what would happen if players got injured, if players moved away, if players uh, didn't attend sessions, uh, if players uh, were moving, etc. And I I wrote down solutions for those problems, or what are alternatives that my business and my company could offer that customer so that we don't have to refund the money, but we can still add value, we can still work with them, and we can still help them to, to get their game to the next level, right? A, a refund should be your last resort, okay? I say this with all the coaches that I work with, a refund should be your last resort. 
there should be at least five to 10 things that you offer parents before you offer them a refund. Now, if you need help with this, reach out to me, description below. Uh, I can definitely help you with with this okay thank you for watching and if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content